this week. I'm singing my very first original, Girl I Am Now. It's like a love letter to my younger self. Growing up, I was the most crazy, energetic, tomboy, I guess you could say. As soon as I could ride a bike, my dad taught me how to ride the dirt bike. Me and my whole family would all ride together. I just wanted to do what my older siblings were doing. My older sisters were cheering, so I cheered. My older brother loved football, so I played football. I didn't care what anyone thought. In my mind, like, there was nothing I couldn't do. So I started wrestling. It was so much fun. Boys would cry when they got pinned by a girl almost every single time. I just like pinned a guy and I'm like, yeah, let's go. There you go I'm super grateful for that upbringing. It's made me a way stronger person. All of it's prepared me for this moment right here. We saw in that video, and you fought and you stayed on track with emotion that we could all feel and see. Katie? I think it's kind of boring when somebody's perfect, <laughs> you know? Because I think that we've all been there. We all relate to this. There's humanity in that performance. Yeah. So, don't worry about falling apart in front of our eyes. I think, I think American Idol is a safe place to fall apart. Yeah. That was just real. It was right. real. It told the story of the song, and you really took yourself to another level in my eyes. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm suffering from PTSD. Watching you do that, Lionel Richie, Madison Square Garden, I'm supposed to start the song, and the band is supposed to come in on the second verse. I had a nervous breakdown, and I kept stopping and starting. And finally, I got through the song, and know what the review said? The only song that made everyone cry. What I'm saying to you is, you got us yeah. on that performance. Thank you guys so much.